It's a district rich in history. From the tourist areas like Little Tokyo, the neighborhood shops in Boyle Heights, and the eclectic corners of Eagle Rock, Council District 14 is arguably one of the most diverse in Los Angeles. I grew up right here and I was raised here, and I feel like with times, you know, it's gotten better. But Marco Cervantes, who lives and works in Boyle Heights, believes there is a major issue here. You have to be working two jobs right now to be able to afford housing. A few blocks away, Augustin Benia owns a flower shop. A lot of people live in, in the street. So this is, for me, this is not good for the business. And as we traveled around the district, the concern over homelessness and housing echoed in every neighborhood. I want to help these guys, but I don't want to uh, enable them at the same time. When I moved here as a young person, it was really easy to find an apartment, affordable housing. Um, and now I'm just blown away by the cost of living in this city. Which is why those who live here are watching the crowded race for city council very closely. I do plan on voting in this upcoming election, I'm not too sure for who, but I feel like I have to vote. There are eight people on the ballot, including current council member Kevin DeLeon. I think we're most proud of take, tackling on the homelessness crisis. We built the most tiny homes um, in all of the city of LA. We've housed you know, more uh, houseless, homeless, unhoused individuals than anyone else in the city of LA. Since being elected in 2020, De Leon's district has housed more than 2,500 people, the most of any district, he says. But when you oversee Skid Row, it has to be a priority. If you're not building, if you're not acquiring properties to house the unhoused, then quite frankly, you're not doing. You're just talking about the issue. The biggest earner for contributions and endorsements so far is current state assemblyman Miguel Santiago. Homeless has gone out of control. The affordability uh, for people to keep a roof over their heads gone out of control. We need to tackle those problems head on. He's terming out of the assembly, but running on his legacy and love of his community. I went and knocked on doors during the pandemic, got people in our neighborhoods to enroll in the programs, and was out there myself, enrolling people in these programs so that the programs that we had met people exactly where they were. He says what this district needs most is simply someone different. We need a leader who is going to focus on making sure that we get our fair share of those county dollars in this district that really needs them. Do you think CD14 hasn't gotten its fair share of those dollars? Well, CD14 uh, has always been left behind and we had a, a representative who's caught in corruption scandals and we now had a representative who's caught up in a different sort of scandal and for that the district has been left behind. The most recent scandal was in 2022. Uh, so you'll start seeing them line up. When council member Kevin DeLeon was caught on a now infamous racist audio recording with two other former council members discussing redistricting. I asked him to resign. Um, and, and I think um, and I and I think that we need to move on beyond what happened. And that's what this election is all about. In fact, many, including the president, asked De Leon to step down. It's been a, a really painful, uh, difficult, hard journey. Despite protests and shutouts, he took a break from council meetings and then kept fighting. And what we didn't do is we didn't fall into a state of paralysis and, or just roll up in a ball in the fetal position. We rolled up our sleeves and we continued to do the work. Even with the strongest headwinds coming towards us, we move forward. The third candidate with significant financial and community support is Assemblywoman Wendy Carrillo. This is my community. This is where I grew up, where my family lives, where I have roots. An immigrant from El Salvador, she grew up in Boyle Heights and is now in her seventh year as a state legislator. What do you think is the biggest issue in this district? The biggest issues across Los Angeles, but in particular in Council District 14, are addressing the issues related to our homelessness and mental health crisis. And she has clear solutions. I was successful in securing $50 million for the rehab of the iconic old General Hospital, which is a building in Boyle Heights, and it's a regional approach, but it is empty. We have an opportunity to rehab that hospital uh, and create the mental health beds. She also wants to see a more vibrant downtown where there is a 30% vacancy in office space, bring back Broadway, and hire more city workers. There are over a 1,000 vacancies in the city of Los Angeles, so when you make a call for a pothole, it's going to take longer because those positions aren't filled. 
We want our city to function. These are good jobs with a pension and benefits, but yet it's really hard to get people into these positions. The question is why? Carrillo, like De Leon, is trying to win the seat by overcoming a scandal. A car accident in November led to her being arrested for driving under the influence. If I can have a very public fall, I can also have a very public rise. Now in treatment and sober, she's continuing her campaign and speaking openly about it all for the first time. 10, 20, 30 years from now, I look at this moment in my life. Would I be proud or would I have regrets? Did I flee or did I fight? And I chose to fight and I chose to choose me and to do what I needed to do for my own recovery uh, and be a better version of myself. And all three candidates say the district has to get in the business of building, not just rooms for the homeless, but everyone. Downtown Los Angeles, for example, continues to see more apartments, more sky rises, but we are not building any new fire stations. I think we have to build, and we have to build affordable housing. It's absolutely critical. We have no other choice. We can't wait three to four to five years for, the, uh, for affordable housing to be built. It's got to be built uh, immediately. But of course, ideas aren't always enough. But my friends who were born and raised in Boyle Heights, there's been a, they had to move out because they couldn't afford the rent, so they had to move out of California to another state. For in a district with more than a quarter million people, whether living in multi-million dollar condos or multi-generational neighborhoods well below the poverty line, one thing is the same. On every block, every citizen gets one vote. Kevin DeLon needed more, one more opportunity. I think so. I think it's time for a change because whatever they're doing, um, it isn't working. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.